Hey guys, I love how big of a following this exoskeleton project is getting. It kind of puts a lot of pressure on me to make it really awesome. I mean, a million views in a week? An interview with my local TV station? Right now the device can curl about 170 pounds of weight, and that's only at half pressure. I even made the front cover of my local newspaper. No pressure, right? This exoskeleton is literally the first prototype. It's, it's really simple. I have so many plans for it, but it's going to take a while, and a lot of money to do so. Having the video go viral is awesome. It actually made me a bit of money from YouTube, which is all going back into the suit. But I can still use some help. Some of you may know that I entered a contest to win $5,000 for the exoskeleton. I'm currently losing right now by quite a few hundred votes. My contest video has been seen 8,000 times, but I only have about 800 votes, which means only about 10% of people actually voted. It's really quick, it literally takes 10 seconds to do. Please vote for my project. If you've already voted, thank you. Don't vote again because that could skew the results and I could get disqualified. We can do this. Please, please, please share my channel. Tell your friends to subscribe. Like us on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. It all helps. More subscribers equals more views, which equals more YouTube money. Straight into this exoskeleton. If you guys can help grow my channel to even 100,000 subs, it would make a huge difference. If everyone on the channel invited just two friends to subscribe to my channel, we'd be there in a week. And this exoskeleton project? Well, it's going to get a hell of a lot cooler. It's kind of like a pyramid scheme. But in this case, Everyone wins, because this project will be freaking amazing, and you'll all get to see it happen before your very eyes. Finally, if you're one of my super fans and you really want to help support this project by donating to it, I'd invite you to check out my Patreon campaign. It's kind of like a Kickstarter, except it's for content producers. And as a reward for donating to the channel, you get behind-the-scenes access and extra updates on my projects. Okay, enough about all that. Back to the exoskeleton. I just watched Edge of Tomorrow. It's a friggin' awesome movie. Except for the ending, kinda weird. But um, the really cool thing is, the exoskeletons in it were real. They just weren't powered. But, they had fake cylinders on them. Meaning they were just, they're just waiting to be powered. Um, so I looked into some of the behind the scenes footage of it, and I'm going to start basing my design a bit more off of them, because they're extremely flexible, robust, and awesome looking. They actually had a hundred of these made for the movie. Um, if I could get my hands on one, that would be amazing. Probably not going to happen, but if anyone knows anyone who has a contact in Hollywood to do that, let me know, because that would be sweet. So what I really like about this design is the shoulders. Look how flexible they are. It's going to mean I pretty much have to completely redesign everything I've already made, but you know what? If it's going to make a better exoskeleton, I'm going to do it. So, let's go spend some of this YouTube money on some uh, new cylinders. These guys just so happen to be on sale. At 125 PSI, it'll put out around, I think, 660 pounds. <laughs> and this beast will put out 900 and something pounds. Hmm. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's heavy. So I got these big bad boys. 300 mil stroke. And they put out around 650 pounds at just 125 PSI. Now these are going to be the leg cylinders. So if I have one per leg, that means I could hypothetically deadlift 1,000 pounds. Awesome. The even better thing is... I wasn't even thinking about this when I bought them, but they're actually going to work great for the jumping boots. Can you see it? <laughs> yes, I'm actually making the jumping boots. Some of you thought I was just joking, but it's going to happen. But more of that in another video. Sorry. I also picked up one of these beasts. It's got an 80 millimeter bore, which means at 125 psi, this guy puts out around 950 pounds. It's really big, 
but if I put two on the, the biceps, then I could curl around 300 pounds per arm. But I might not do that. So what I might use this for is the spine support. So I want to actually have some kind of um, system that allows me to bend forwards and back without using my body. Um, but again, this is all going to depend on how I change the design to uh, kind of copy the Edge of Tomorrow one. Because the other really cool thing I like about the Edge of Tomorrow one, when it's fully built, you can unstrap and just get out of the exoskeleton. And I'll just stay standing there. How awesome will that be to have in my living room? So awesome. Anyways, I'm going to have to order some more parts now because I need some pneumatic fittings for the giant cylinders. Um, but I'm going to try and have at least one update video per week about the exoskeleton. It might not be long. It might not be awesome. No, that will be awesome. Who am I kidding? Um, <laughs> but I'll keep you guys posted. So the newspaper called me a mad scientist. So I bought a chalkboard. Now I'm feeling the mad scientist. -y. Subscribe. Do it now.